Hey, Fix It friends. This is Fix It with Fran, where I talk about all things faith, family, food, and fun. I have been meaning to get this out to y'all, so I am up late doing some editing. Mom life, wife life, y'all getting real mom girl-ish right here. So y'all will probably see this same little uh, cover clip a couple of times because I'm going to use it for the series so that you'll be able to know these are vlogs coming from my first solo cruise. So let's talk about it. Now, this is me standing outside in the line waiting. So this was the line. So let me give some context to this. This cruise unfortunately happened right after an incident where a woman went overboard um, back in February. So there was a delay in the departure of this cruise. And that is why you see this line normally coming. I've never seen a line like this, but this is outside of the terminal. And this is once you got inside, like this is when I'm about to get checked in and stuff. But it was a long process. They were still very efficient with it but it's the most crowded I've ever seen it be and again all the staff were really nice and polite so it went through kind of smoothly one tip that I got from some folks in cruising groups is that if you're going solo I usually don't stop for these pictures at the beginning but I decided to stop and they said do it because then you will have pictures that aren't just you taking selfies of yourself I thought that was really smart so some of these came out nice I really did like the black and white version and these are some of the staff, the um, Pixels folks that were in the cruise terminal. I started giving out my ducks early and they were some of the first two to get some ducks from me. I'll explain more about the ducks later. And I'm a seasoned cruiser, so I know I checked in, I think, for 1.30. By the time I got on, it was after 2. So I knew I could go ahead and go by my room and drop my stuff off that the room should be ready at this time. So this is my water, this is the table, this is my bed, and I don't think it's bad y'all, like, okay, first impressions, it is a small room, but it's not tiny. We got my strawberries there, here they give us masks this time, we did not get masks before, and it's a, hey y'all, hey, I got my duck bag, oh you can't really see it, I'll show I'll show y'all the duck bag. It's already a crowd pleaser. But same kind of doors. And then you have the bathroom. We'll walk in. I mean, this isn't bad. This, to me, it's taking the bathroom a minute to come on. It's not bad. When you look at it, just compared to what are in the other rooms, you're just going to be in an interior room. Not bad. Still have good closets, good closet space. Not horrible. All right, y'all, so you may hear the, um, what is it called, security announcement in the background, but I wanted to show y'all just some of the stuff that I'm gonna do as I initially get settled in this room. One thing I should have already done is to put my phone on this tripod. But um, I've already um, was made aware and kind of knew for myself that these interior rooms, because this is my first interior room, are going to be dark um, because there's no window. So you're not going to get the natural light and sunrise and all that. Although I usually keep our curtains closed at night. So as my husband said, oh, you're going to love this because it's going to be better than blackout curtains and you're going to get the best sleep. Like, and it's funny when your spouse really knows you well, my boo knows me. So I am excited about that. This is, I told y'all about... Um, before maybe in one of my cruise videos these lanyards from bath and body works right now or at least as of last month too they were seven or uh, half price so instead of this being uh, 14.95 i think i got this for 7.95 and i in fact got this for free because if you're using the bath and body works app you can get a certificate based on your activity based on just purchases and all that to get free items i need to clean off the lens this is blurry but yeah i got this one for free so i brought it so that i can okay i got it call. so that i can take my what is this uh, da, da, da. my little carnival um what is this the car that you use for everything on the ship the word will come back to me later and put it on the clip and then this part right here is the very important part where your hand sanitizer can be stored so i'm gonna set this up but i also brought this because i'm jumping topics y'all they told me in the group about these rooms being really dark so i went to dollar tree and got these oh sorry that's really bright in the camera so i'm gonna sit them 
on each of the nightstands. So at night, if I need to, whatever. I'm also gonna take this night light here because I have these, like the Bath and Body Works night lights in our bathroom at the house. Many folks don't know, recognize or pay attention to the fact that there is in fact a plug in the bathroom. You can't really use that, although in case of emergency, and by emergency, I mean an emergency for us tech folks where we need to get to a plug. And you know, there's only one plug in these um, state rooms. So I have my, what are they called? Uh, power strips for that purpose. But I take this nightlight and I put it in the bathroom so that when you come in, and this plug may go off when you turn the light off, let's see. Yeah, the plug does go off, but that's another way, especially at night, if you need something to be on before this part clicks in. Because I, no matter what room I'm in, suite, balcony room, ocean suite, junior suite, these lights always tend to turn on with a little delay. So I like, if y'all saw, this light glows blue. It goes off when the light switch goes off, but it comes on sooner. So let's say you, in the middle of the night, really gotta go and you're stumbling and it took you a lot of effort to get to this room because it's dark and you have no windows. At least in this case, you'll have this blue light that will come on for you in the bathroom give you some illumination until the rest of the lights kick in. So that's a fix it friend tip. I've never seen anybody really talk about having a nightlight in the bathroom for that purpose, but if you have this one, it'll come on for you a good, what is that, like 15, 20 seconds before the um, main light came on. And that's even after being turned on right away. Like I just turned this off and it still comes on with a delay. Let's turn it off in countless seconds while I'm looking at this clock. So it's off, one, two, Three. Okay, so it's only three seconds. It seemed like a long time to me when I was looking at it. Like, when did the light gonna come out? But so far, and again, I haven't heard sounds at night. I haven't heard anybody next to my room. So hopefully nothing changes immediately to sway my opinion. But I was sharing with my husband, some of my friends. On this cruise, I'm just gonna be the duck lady. This is my duck bag that I was trying to show y'all earlier, but couldn't get it in the um camera and believe it or not this is actually a baby bag i took out part of the like cushion it had a really cute polka dot cushion now i did not have this when i had monica this is something that came up for me as a product review and i got it because i'm like if you know anything about cruising ducks or like the cruise life ducks are a thing for us there's some other things like pineapples that i don't get into and i don't know because i ain't about that life but ducks are a thing for us so i saw this and i was like i have to have it has some of my other belongings in here i used it to carry my wine so usually i carry like a big coach bag or a big purse like a what are they called uh kind of like a, a louis vuitton carry-all like that kind of bag like i have some travel bags that are coach bags like that but i told myself i'm not going to carry a hobo bag or anything like that i'm gonna try this backpack life and it did make things much easier for me now this time i brought my Kindle because I'll be doing reading in my leisure. I brought my um, what is it? Sony tablet because I'll be working on some stuff and I thought I was going to have to take those out in um, what is it called? In security or going through um, the clearance but they told me no. So next time I will just leave those in my backpack. I know I didn't have to take the Kindle out but I thought because this is a tablet that's attached to a keyboard that I would probably have to take it out. Same for my iPad. My iPad is attached to a keyboard. But they said, no, nah, they let me go through and left it in there. So we'll do that again next time. Just my wallets that I have and my N95 mask. Uh, some drama mean I do like this, what is it? Uh, or non-drowsy natural version of just the ginger drama mean. So I have that. Oh, my ducks. I think I mentioned to them I'm going to be the duck lady. So I'm giving out all these little ducks as I see people. There was just a little girl in the elevator and she was crying and I gave her a duck and she stopped crying. So I'm going to be the duck fairy on this cruise. So those are going back in the bag. If you don't know, with uh, Carnival Cruises, you can bring one bottle of wine aboard per person. I think it's like that for a lot of the cruise lines. So I brought this Roscato. Sorry, y'all. That blur was getting on my nerves. So I brought this Riscato. This is Riscato Gold, which I found one of these last times that I went to Total Wine. I never had this before, so I said I was going to try it out. I will be going probably soon to find my table assignment as well as to make a reservation at the steakhouse because I want to go to the steakhouse tomorrow night. This is one of my shade cases. I used to get tons of shades and things to review, so I pulled out one of these little clear pair with the chrome lenses or mirror reflective lenses. My little zebra print bag. I was about to say rawr, but I think zebras are horses, so it's like. <laughs> and one of the other things that was inside this bag I was carrying are my little, what are they called? Water additives, like where you add the things to the water. So we have some Mio, 
buried pomegranate. Let's bring that into focus, huh? Come on, focus. Focus for me. Focus for me. Focus for me. Don't want to focus. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Berry pomegranate. It's blurry. And then Welch's strawberry peach. I think I got this one from Dollar Tree. Back when things were a dollar. Same for the Welch's light. Oh, I know I got this 7-Up at Dollar Tree. Because I got them for the cruise my husband and I took before and when we were traveling. And then I couldn't find them because they were in a bag. I ended up trying to hide lots of bags. Either from Monica. Ended up hiding them for myself. This Zero Sugar Country Time Lemonade. Got these other fruit punch crystal lights. My husband got this from Walmart. I think I remember. This uh, other lemon he got from Crystal Light. Crystal Light. Got from Walmart. Cherry Pomegranate came from Walmart. And the Sun Kiss Orange came from Dollar Tree when things were still a dollar. And then this Welcher's Light Pink Lemonade also came from Dollar Tree. So all of these are going to go back in the bag. A big bag, a big bank. Uh, I've never really talked about watching um, Peach Patch and Peaches McIntyre, but we watch her a lot, especially my mom. And I love her sense. I'm in the middle of the show. Family announcement regarding our new self okay, we got an process. I am going to go self muster. Visit their muster station and check in with one of our team members. At this time, if you have not yet completed your self muster process, please do so at your earliest convenience. Your muster station is located on your boarding pass, a sail and sign card, or cabin key, and can be found on deck four. I want to take this opportunity to remind you that face masks are required to be worn in all indoor areas. Mask up, and when enjoying a drink, please sip and cover. Sip Make and sure cover. you wash and sanitize your hands regularly. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate your attention and cooperation as we seek to protect everyone's health and safety. Okay, so I left that on to the job. I left that on so y'all could hear these announcements while they're going on. And since this is me on my solo cruise, ah, I decided I'm going to log and vlog like the whole thing. So that, one, y'all are my companion for this cruise. How about that? So fix it, friends. You're coming along with me on this journey. First time. And before I was really nervous. And then I was really sad because of the lady that had the incident and kind of... Yeah, like it made national news. I told my mom this morning I was watching Good Morning America and it was on there and I was like, whoa. Cause it's a big deal. Like that doesn't just happen every day. And so, yeah. So just kind of taking that in, um, hoping that it wouldn't be too somber of a note. Not that I want to, what's the word? Make light of it or just kind of act like it didn't happen by no means. But it's just like, how do I say? To know that it happened is sad. To know that, you know, whatever the circumstances may have been, someone's life was lost and, like, person is lost. Like, as I know as of yet, when I boarded, there hadn't been a report that the Coast Guard had found that person. It's just like, oh, really? Because I would just, I guess I would feel not as sad or not as whatever the word is that I'm struggling to find if at least the body had been recovered you know it's kind of like there's some level of closure there this is the empath of me because anybody else would be like girl there ain't got nothing to do with you you don't know them people you don't know what was going on like i don't but gosh my heart goes out for that because cruising is one of those pastimes one of those things you do it's fun it's light-hearted and to think that somebody went on a cruise and came back without their loved one or whatever it's just like, oh, i wouldn't wish that on anybody i just would not so, yeah, I think I, I thought I put enough batteries in here for all of my devices, but it looks like, oh no, I got one, two, three, yeah, I got six. So, let's go back to the lights. Let me finish. I'm moving fast because one of the things I realized was like going through security without my husband, oh my gosh. I've been used to traveling solo, let's say that. Like I used to always do like work conferences and meetings and things. Like I'm a solo dolo pro, but when you've gotten used to traveling with a personal assistant slash bodyguard, like nobody bothers me. Nobody just comes up and tries to be chummy because my husband looks like stone cold. He's like, don't mess with me, you don't touch me. Oh, I'm you with him? Oh, I ain't gonna. And it's just nice. So I miss my guy, but I'm excited about this. And traveling without him too is also difficult because I'm so used to him like being there to move my stuff along and like 
move this and he carries a drink. So I had to be real strategic about what I carried and how I carried and when I carried. Talking about carry makes me think about my concealed carry class. So I'm not carrying. Firearms are not allowed on the cruise. But yeah, just making sure I packed my stuff and tried to be efficient and try to not pack that much just to because oh I can be a packer girl. I can pack with the best of them. And by best of them I mean I'd be like, oh I may need this. Oh you just never know. I've always been one of those I'm packing like a Girl Scout. You just never know what you may need. Like I'm sitting here with ink pens, the downy wrinkle release. My right, honey, my spray hand sanitizer. Now, I swear by this. If I sit down at the table and I feel like it's not clean, I will spray the table down myself. Um, I'm going to have my inhaler because my asthma kid and also had COVID. So, if I wasn't wheezing already before having COVID, mm, yeah, I'm a wheezer for real now. Um, I'll be putting my little gold lanyard on. What else am I going to be doing? I bought my own K95 mask, even or KN95 mask, even though they gave us some. And then I bought some of these, um, what is it, Neosh approved N95 masks that I have, just to make sure I have proper protection. I got about six of those, probably like four or five of the black ones that I brought. And then um, they gave us these two here, so that was a nice surprise. So I'm putting some things back in this duck bag. And I am just so pleased with this, so cute to carry around. I'll definitely put my wallets back in there. Oh, and this is one where the last time that I cruised and I was looking for ducks, someone put this in my mailbox. It was my birthday cruise, actually. So that started off my duck thing. I have a ton of these Bath & Body Works clips and things. This is my new one. I think I shared with y'all another video. Butterflies are very symbolic for me right now, especially after my pregnancy losses. So I have this new clip with some Pure Wonder scented hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works and then I have this one with Gingham Love a keto fat bomb that my husband gave me that I told him I was keeping for emergencies so it kind of floats into my bag but with the lights I have to put these batteries inside to make it work right some of my jewelry was in the bag my pearls because I don't go anywhere without my pearls these rings are actually what are they like amethyst that's my husband's birthstone so a lot of times I wear these especially during the month of February because that's his birthday and then I wear them when we're apart just because I'm cheesy like that so this right here if you don't know is one of those little button pushers so especially at the top of the pandemic these were really popular because you could take them and use them to push elevator buttons and open doors and not have to touch them and make contact so I'll be using those and since this right here has that um what is it called this retractable like badge holder id holder i use this because i can also use it to pull the um keychain out and then open the doors and things and i have to touch them just minimizing contact because we know germs travel on surfaces and from people to people and the less you touch the less exposed you are so i am going to probably i got six batteries so i can do two more of these I don't know if I want to fool with the light switch right now. I think I like these tap ones because you just tap it. And I'll put batteries in these two. I'll probably put one like somewhere over there. So that when I come in the room I cannot leave the light on. And then I'll put one on the other nightstand. And that's my plan. I'm about to get this done so I can head on out to the Lido deck. Hmm. Do a face wash and some cream. I did pack my travel supplies. So I will go through all of that with y'all. Unpacking, getting settled in the room. I maybe even do a like fancy time lapse thing and let y'all see me unpack for now i'm about to get out here put my drinks in the fridge um and then i'm gonna head on out to the little deck to muster i probably need to muster first on my table make a steakhouse reservation because the deck's gonna be open right now it is 329 i think i got on the boat around or ship rather i got on the ship around mm, i got here to embark at like 1 30 but the line was long so i have to check in and see like when i took certain pictures how long that process took but this is for now so this will be video one just showing y'all kind of getting on getting set up getting in the room some of my initial unpacking but like i said i'm gonna do a whole unpacking video for y'all so you'll see that next as always this is fix it with fran where i talk about all things faith family food and fun this series is going to be a whole lot of fun my first solo cruise but as always i want to leave with y'all my true belief that god has given us all gifts and talents that can fix some problem that exists in the world we may not be able to fix everything sometimes it's just one thing but i want to leave that 
that with you, encourage you to remember, and let you know if it's your first time watching the channel. Until next time, I pray that you would find that thing and fix it. Bye for now, y'all. Oh.